So today we will be talking about molecular motors. First, we need to talk about microtubules. Microtubules are part of the cytoskeleton of a cell and provide structure and polarity. They are made up of tubulin and run the length of the cell. They have a positive end near the outside of the cell and a negative end near the center of the cell. To get vesicles and organelles from one side of the cell to the other, molecular motors attach to the microtubule and carry the vesicle or organelle along the microtubule. So two molecular motors are dynein and kinesin. This is kinesin, and it has two legs, which allows it to walk along the microtubule. This is dynein, and it only has one stalk, so it has to hop along the microtubule. So I'm just going to quickly remind all of you what my models look like. I have kinesin on the right and dynein on the left. And I'm also just going to quickly relabel them so that way people have an idea of where the parts are. So my project here was done using the game Minecraft. I built models to represent kinesin and dynein both. I set them up in a drive-by pattern using minecarts to simulate a transition effect of how each molecule moves. Kinesin uses its heads to walk across negative to positive try to simulate effect by using the orange and green heads, simulating a walking pattern, just moving one from the other, from negative to positive. Dynein, on the other hand, only has one head, so it uses a power stroke method to go from positive to negative. I try to simulate the the stem, the stalk, using a bending motion to push forward. Alright everybody, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed kinesin and dynein motor proteins. Have a good day. Bye-bye.